Hello and welcome to this video on brandy. Brandy is a similar product to whiskey and bourbon. Unlike these, it is not made from a purpose brewed mash in all cases. It is nearly always derived from wine or fermented fruit juice. It covers the special names of Armagnac, Cognac and more. Each brandy brand has its own geographical production and product profile. This is from a number of different factors including the base wine, which is either a special brandy base or a cheap, readily available mass product, the aging process used, colouring compounds, distillation process, and even the grape cultivars and region they are grown in. There are even more options again, which make each particular brand its own unique product. The first step in producing brandy is to make a brandy base wine. This is from Young Bitter Grapes. These are mashed as needed for each grape cultivar and combined. It is then fermented. After a period, this produces a base wine, high in acid and low in sugar. It should be between 8 and 10% alcohol by volume. Unlike some suggestions and guides, it is not the peak of the growing season, but the earliest grapes or fruit that are used. This is to get the fruit with low sugar content. This carries with it a greater risk of methanol from pectin in the fruit, but well distilled and well produced brandy does not carry this risk. In the case of cheaper brandy, there is a generic bulk quantity of cheap wine. This lacks some of the more characteristic aspects of brandy paste wine such as the higher acid content and lower sulfur. The wine produced is then distilled in two stages. It is either done in a pot or column still. Small batches are done in a pot still, whilst large batches are done in a continuous column distillation. Either option is used to separate out the bulk of water from the rest. This will often also remove solids and other contaminants. This is important as it produces the first of the brandy reagents. These are known as the low wines. Low wines are similar to the basic wash used in whiskey distilling. It has roughly 30% alcohol by volume, which is half the concentration in most final brandy products. It can be compared to rough distilling of moonshine or similar before using a more refined distillation process. The second step of distilling brandy comes from these low wines. It is a rough product at this stage, which is a mixture of undesirable compounds and the good parts of the brandy. Unfortunately, they are all mixed together. Distilling is how this gets broken up into the useful hearts and wasteful heads and tails. As shown in previous videos, it produces a range of products in each stage of distillation. The result is a range of products in each sample from the still. This heart can be handled in one of several ways. The most common is to take the heart and use it whole to age in barrels. The second round of distillation further concentrates the alcohol. This now moves into a range closer to 60% alcohol by volume. By heating low wines in the manner described in pot distillation, it creates a volatile environment of very reactive chemicals. This leads to the creation of new flavour compounds. Most of these remain highly volatile after the distillation process. They become aromatic in the final brandy product, along with any residual products of the fermentation and distillation process. Even more unfortunate is the volume used and produced. A batch of wine used for brandy begins at roughly 34 litres and becomes roughly 3.8 litres. This is a 9 to 1 conversion in gallons. Now that the brandy has been distilled, it will undergo one of two paths. The first is into a barrel to age for at least two years. It is similar to whiskey and wine in this regard. You can find a video on that process here. The alternative is to add colouring and flavouring compounds. This is a cheaper approach and streamlines production at the cost of characteristics and development. 
Another option in brandy production is called blending. This is used more dominantly in cognac, as it involves the combining of different batches from differing years to achieve a balanced flavour profile that is pleasing to the taste and better value than that of the individual parts. This is normally done by an expert who blends the parts as they see fit from differing years. Their palate will often be the most valuable aspect of the individual for the business that employs them. The heads and tails from earlier, which are not used in this blending process or at any other stage, may be added to another batch's low wines. This will allow these small trace amounts of the desirable compounds and this otherwise large amount of wine product to be removed from it through distillation. The two types of brandy produced by these methods are very different products, and they will sell for a commensurately different price range. Further to this, some of these products are defined by legislature and are restricted in what they can and cannot be called and what they can or cannot be made from. This is very much like champagne. Hopefully this video has been of some help to you in understanding what brandy is and how it is made. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions you may have below, and thank you for watching.